Okay, so much less important in this unit, but I don't want to just completely skip over it because it is possible that we get asked something about a midpoint or uh, maybe when you're trying to figure out what to do, you think, oh, well, if I just found the midpoint, that would work. And it does work for a lot of different things. So a lot of these things come down to your personal preference. So I don't want to just gloss over midpoint, but if you're looking for a place to save some time, it is highly likely that you would never have to use midpoint in this unit to do anything. Almost everything that I can possibly think of can be done with distance and slope. All right, there's some harder questions that have never been asked before in an assessment that might ask you to use midpoint, um, but I'm thinking that if you're good enough to be able to get the rest of the questions right, you probably could come back, back and figure out uh, how to figure out the midpoint and deal with something like that. So anyways, if I have to find the midpoint, I'm averaging the X coordinates, averaging the Y coordinates. We actually drew a picture on the graph. I don't know why I'm not highlighting. Uh, we actually drew a picture on the graph when we did this and just chopped the slopes in half. Average the X, average the Y, or find the slope and divide each number by two. Okay, so we did that. I probably also have some questions mixed in here where you have to find the other end point because that is helpful in some of the stuff we do in this unit um, to find the other end point. So this is kind of just something that I feel like if you know how to graph, you probably know how to do this and don't need a huge refresher on this. But it might be a good idea to go down through and try a couple of these or just look at the check-in and see how that goes. Uh, make sure that you can do the very basic stuff here so that then we can apply that to a problem that might be slightly harder when we're actually doing one of these per 